Today we're talking the benefit of mists. Now to you they might be a load of cool air in an aerosol can, but to me they're an integral part of my skincare routine and I use them at different points. If I've done a lovely mask of a Sunday, I'll then end it with a mist just to take off the last tiny bits and give my skin that wonderful finished look. If I've done a strong acid, I might put a mist on top just to kind of bring it back down. If I'm in, you know, outside running around and I just you know in the garden put a bit of mist on it's just something that refreshes the face and it comes now in so many different types of formulas so I'm going to show you four of my favorites today so I'm going to start off with one I bought from Boots and again it's that lovely super facialist Una Brenner She's had 15 years of making over skins and knows how to do it. It's got lots of minerals in it. It's rose, it's got aloe vera juice, it's got rose hip extract, it's a lovely antioxidant. And best of all, it's nine bloody pounds. So, oh, the rose as well is that fresh English tea rose. It's not a rose otto or rose damask. It's not a heady rose. It's like an English country garden rose. And Generally, when I put them on, I then do that very lovely, you know, when you see those amazing, like, Gothamista, and she's beautiful with her skin and does it softly. It encourages me to do something softly. So I love that one. Love it. Next up, if you've got very, very sensitive skin, this is a brilliant one, which is, I think, quite new. It's from La Roche-Posay's Tolerance range, and it's just... I think it's about 19 pounds, but basically tolerance range is very, very good for people who suffer with eczema, rosacea, things like that. It's got allotoin in it, which sort of soothes the skin, conditions the skin, and carnosine, which is a sort of gentle antioxidant, and it has a few amino acids. It actually smells of absolutely nothing, because that's why it's sitting in the tolerance range. There's no fragrance to upset the skin, but let's say you just had a bad reaction and your skin literally can't have anything put on it, but you feel you want some kind of moisture, but you're sensitive to everything. This is your baby, really your baby in many ways. Now we're getting onto two sort of more luxurious ones, but two of my favorites. There's a lovely, lovely man who started a skincare range a few years ago and he didn't have a base in skincare, he had a passion for it, which is Josh Rosenbrook. And he's got, it's called Hydration Accelerator, it's 35 pounds. And it's got main ingredients is marula oil, which has got lots of antioxidants and fatty acids, and buckthorn oil, which is very good for vitamin C, B and E. Strong antioxidant um, and lots of aloe. But the, oh, the smell is, Slightly jasmine-y. I, I mean, he doesn't mention there's jasmine in it, but when I use this is when I'm doing my little machine tools. And when I put this one on and I go and press it into my skin, I really feel, it's very rare when they say they're hydrating that you really feel that sense of hydration. But I really do feel with this one. And then it goes a little bit sticky, which means there's sort of extra ingredients in it. Um, and then it just, probably the aloe, actually it's got, because it's got aloe water. But it, I feel that little gentle plumpness. Beautiful product, beautiful. Very, very well and healthy and organic. Not, I don't think they're fully organic, but very clean formula. Then we have the kind of like the Rolls Royce of mist, because this to me is more than a mist. This, this has so many ingredients in it. I feel it's light-hearted to call it a mist, which is the Allies of Skin. And this is their Molecular Savior Prebiotic Repair Mist. This is 60 pounds. You might think, oh my God, for a mist. But if you suffer from spots, it's got Lactobellicus Ferment. So that's a very brilliant prebiotic, which you can use when you've got sort of, you know, just help the flora and fauna of your skin. It's got Colloidal Silver. And Colloidal Silver, I love as an ingredient. It's a, a very good antibacterial ingredient. And when I went to see a facialist, she would always put colloidal silver on my skin when it was really upset. Um, but it just has a, a way with it that I feel my... Mm, mm. And it also does have a lovely smell. I don't know what that smell is. And...
And um, I met Nicholas Traver Travis, I think, who founded Allies of Skin. I never met a man as passionate about skin as I was. He was fantastic. But this I will put on before I go out to work out. It's nearly enough. I mean, it's got real punch. It pulls a punch. Press it into my skin. I just feel the active ingredients quite high and that's why it is so expensive because it's more than just a mist but beautiful so there you have it four wonderful mists there are many mists out there um but these are the ones that i consistently come back to